Now to coronavirus coverage, El Paso Electric employees will be required to get the vaccine or lose their jobs come December. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in downtown El Paso with a look at what both the company and the Electrical Workers Union has to say about the mandate. And El Paso Electric employees received a letter from the company saying that they had until December 8th to get vaccinated. Now, El Paso Electric tells me they are following federal guidelines about people being vaccinated, not the state. So basically, they're requiring everyone that we're being considered federal contractors at this point. So they're requiring all employees to be fully vaccinated by that December 8th date or be terminated. The local electrical workers union saying the company should give employees who don't want to get the vaccine the option for COVID testing. I was told that that weekly testing would not be uh, would not be allowable logistically or financially. This is what El Paso Electric had to say when asked about why weekly testing was not an option. The, the language that speaks to the testing as an option is under the OSHA standards. We are still waiting for the federal government to uh, supply the regulations on the OSHA standards. And as soon as uh, those are produced, we'll take a look to see if uh, testing is an option. As you may remember, Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed an executive order saying no entity in Texas could require proof of vaccination from employees. But EPE says they fall under the order from President Biden about vaccine mandates. We're governed by many uh, regulations and rules. And, and the federal government right now is asking us as a federal contractor to make sure that we're vaccinating our population. We 